Yali, Neono Toka, Asuna Barreta Valera. Hello, my name is Asuna Barreta Valera, and I am here representing as a female co president of Tucson Native Youth Council, an urban inner tribal youth council based in Tucson, Arizona. Today, we will be talking about the problematic portrayals of Indigenous people, a topic that people tend to ignore and has been normalized throughout the years. Whether it's in old Western movies, songs, or books, we usually see the stereotypical portrayal of indigenous people. These portrayals often include Caucasian people as being the good guys, the protagonists, and seen as more advanced. The indigenous people are usually seen as less advanced, poor people, and people who tend to lose to Caucasians. They basically represent the antithesis of Caucasians. Here are some examples. Here are some lyrics from I Am Indian 2, released in 2007 by Don Armando in his album, The Beauty of Love. This is his most fav famous song, favorite and famous song. Wine at Two is a film that was released in 1963, based on the book Wine at Two by Carl May. Carl May was a French actor and played as an Apache chief. He romanticized the idea of natives by portraying native people as people who want peace, love on earth, values friendship, and overall people who are naive. Carl May has been to America once and made a movie about how indigenous people are supposed to be like. In Mexico, the media portrays indigenous people as dirty, homeless, the antagonist, or less advanced, whereas the lighter European people were seen as protagonists, more wealthy, healthy, and clean. A prime example of this is a show named La India Maria, a show where it makes fun of a stereotypical indigenous woman due to the dirty clothes she wore, her braids, her accent, and how less advanced she was. We often see indigenous slurs and mascots in sports, schools, streets, buildings, etc. For example, the Redskins, the 49ers, whose name represents the peak of the year of the gold rush. In order to obtain the gold, the gold seekers attacked the indigenous people societies and pushed them out of their own land. And this slide shows Port Nietzsche's Groves High School using indigenous people as their school mascot. On the right is a man who wears a headdress and feathers and war paint to show his pride of being a Redskins fan. And on the left is a mascot of old Tucson Pueblo High School mascot portraying an indigenous person. It was later on removed and replaced with wolves. The stereotypes of indigenous people shown in the media influence others to think that indigenous people have to look a certain way in order to be truly Indian. This mindset is harmful to indigenous people because it alienates and it feeds into stereotypes that we have to say that we have to behave a certain way and be at a lower level than Caucasians. These are some examples of cosplays. To my left is a woman wearing a dress made out of fabric, not, um, not animal skin. And to my right is a man who is wearing a headdress. This is easily bought in at Discount Halloween Costumes and Amazon. And here is a quote, playing Indian also extends to depictions of animals dressed as Indians in a variety of products, including books and toys. These portrayals are dehumanizing, suggesting that Native people are creatures of fantasy and not fully human. Cosplays of Indigenous regalia is not only disrespectful to our people, but it is also a mockery of sacred traditions and history. Non-Indigenous people who wear costumes dressed like our regalia may think that they are cultural appreciating, but in reality, they are cultural appropriating. This, misinterpre this misinterpretation between natives and Indians came from when Christopher Columbus landed in America thinking he landed in India. So of course, he called people Indians. This happened in 1492, and yet, in 2021, indigenous people are still being called Indians. This can cause harm because it can feed into having a culture identity crisis and stripping away from the correct term, indigenous. These are some quotes from David Solano, Gan, and Freiburg. 
First, mascots are psychologically detrimental to Native American students. Second, for non-Native persons, they are associated with negative stereotypes of Native Americans. Third, these mascots undermine intergroups relations by increasing negative stereotyping of Native Americans. And lastly, supporters of these mascots are more apt to believe prejudicial ideas. This is another one. Researchers found out that compared to the control condition, the mascots, romantic movies, and negative outcomes conditions depress self-esteem. Notably, the mascots and romantic movies condition depress self-esteem more than the negative outcome condition. Although the media wants to portray us like this, that is not who you are. We are unique, strong, and resilient. We are not defined by these portrayals. Let us remember that every time we see negative portrayals, these do not define us. Personally, it was difficult to notice and see the problem of these topics due to the normalization and desensitization that society has made. These norm the normalization makes it hard to identify why these topics make us uncomfortable, and if it makes us uncomfortable, why they are still relevant. Society needs to realize how harmful these topics are and realize that they are not honoring us by pushing stereotypes further and making slurs normalized. These are our references. Please feel free to take a picture and review them yourselves. And thank you so much.